Thank you for coming to my talk. My name is Bao Zheng Liu. I'm from Tsinghua University. This is joint work with Up Lab O360. Today, I'm going to talk about Android Native Citizen Service Buzzing. For the sake of time, I will keep things a bit high level, but full details are available in our paper. Let's start. Android Native Citizen Services provide many fundamental functionalities. Meanwhile, they are attractive to attackers. However, to the best of our knowledge, existing researchers pay little attention to them. Go mainly from system services vulnerabilities manually, when a cracker captures the input model through app traffic, and fast system services by mutating the traffic. His purpose focuses on the vendor implemented web services. In order to test Android native system services systematically, we dig into the details of Android native system services. Here is the communication model between application and the service. A, a service will first register itself into the service manager and then listen to and handle requests from application. On the other hand, an application will query the service manager to obtain the interface or target service, which is denoted as a top-level interface. Then the application can utilize the top-level interface to retrieve a multi-level interface or to call other transactions to perform certain actions. Further, the application could retrieve deeper multi-level multi interfaces and invoke corresponding transactions. After an analysis, we summarize the following three challenges when fuzzing Android native system services. Challenge one, in addition to the top-level interfaces registered in the service manager, there are nested multi-level interfaces. So we should collect all of the interfaces and recognize multi-level interfaces. Challenge two, to improve the fuzzing effectiveness, the input data should follow grammatical requirements of target interfaces. So we should extract the interface model. That is, we need to collect all of the possible transactions and extract the input and output levels in the transactions. Challenge three, we find the Android native system services, we should generate a semantically correct input. There are many types of semantic requirements, including variable name, variable type, variable dependency, and interface dependency. To solve the above challenges, we propose a generation-based fuzzing solution funds. Funds can be divided into four modules, interface collector, interface model extractor, dependency impro, and fuzzer engine. Firstly, let's talk about interface collector. When analyzing interface, we observe that services use on transact method to dispatch transactions. According to this feature, we design the following collection approach. Firstly, we compile AOSP and record compilation commands. During compilation, interface related fields will be used. Then we, can, we scan every C++ source field in compilation commands and seek for those fields which contain the untransact pattern. So we could collect all of the interfaces. Further, the interface model extractor extracts the interface model based on the abstract syntax tree of the interface. When extracting interface model, we should identify all of the transactions, input and output of variables in the transactions. Besides, we should also extract some other information, for example, the enumeration definition. Um, for the transaction code identification, we observe that services use on transact method to dispatch transactions. And this process is usually implemented as a switch statement. So we can identify all transactions over target interface by analyzing case nodes in the abstract syntax tree. As for the input and output variable extraction, we found that the system services utilize special methods to deal with input and output variables. So we can extract input and output variables to recognizing such methods. When extracting variables, we will consider variable pattern, variable name, and variable type. The pattern of a variable is related with its location. Mm, variables might look in sequential conditional loop statements. Correspondingly, the variable pattern could be sequential pattern, conditional pattern, and loop pattern. For more details, Please refer to the paper. 
Besides, we will extract some out, some auxiliary information, such as transaction paths, which are separated by the return statement. Type definition. For instance, structure and unit definition, enumeration definition, type alias. After creating the interface model, the dependency inflow will infer variable dependency and the interface dependency. The interface dependency can be divided into generation dependency and use dependency. We will infer such dependencies through the write from binder method and read from binder method correspondingly. As for the variable dependency, it can be divided into intro transaction dependency and inter transaction dependency. Intro transaction dependency contains conditional dependency and so on. It can be inferred when extracting the interface model. Besides, we infer inter transaction dependency through the following principles. One variable is input, and the other is output. These two variables are located in different transactions. Input variables type is equal to the output variables type. Either the input variable type is complex or the input variable name and the output variable name are similar. Lastly, we could start fuzzing. The fuzzer will firstly randomly generate a transaction and then generate the corresponding interface. Finally, the father um, will invoke the target transaction. Father manager will run father, point father status, and restart father when found it existed. Besides, father manager will synchronize logs from mobile to host. As for implementation, we mainly use C++ and the Python language. And we use more than 10,000 lines to implement the prototype offense. During evaluation, we mainly answer the following questions. Question one, how many interfaces have been found? What is the relationship between them? Question two, what does the extracted interface model look like? Is the model complete and precise? Question three, how effective is funds in discovering vulnerabilities of Android native system services. When evaluating funds, we use Android version, Android 9.0.0 R46. The source code can be different for different fixed models. So we answer the question one and question two through the experiment results carried out on Pixel to XL. For the collected interfaces, funds discovered 43 top-level interfaces and 25 multi-level interfaces. Among them, most interfaces are writing manually. As the four interface dependency graph is too large, we demonstrate the complexity of interface dependency with one of its representative parts. We found that an interface can be generated by multiple interfaces. For example, a memory can be generated by a mid source, a effect, and so on. In the figure, the deepest interface is a memory heap, which can be seen as a five level interface. There exists customized interface which can be implemented by developers. For example, a effect client. To the best of our knowledge, we are the first to systematically investigate the interface dependency in Android native system services. As for the extracted interface model, once extracted 530 uh, transactions in top level interfaces, 281 transactions in multi level interfaces. For the variable, here we only talk about the variable pattern due to the time limit. For the figure, we could find that, that most variables are under constraints. As there were no ground truth about the interface model, we randomly select 10 interfaces, manually check the interface models. 
we found that all of the transaction codes are recovered for filling complete limits. And almost all the wrap patterns, wrap needs, and wrap types are recovered. After analysis, we found that the inquisition is mainly due to the complexity of the source code. We intermittently run files on our six smartphones for around 30 days. Uh, fans trigger thousands of crashes. After the deprecating, fans discovered 30 vulnerabilities in native program. Google has reproduced 20 vulnerabilities of them. And we also discovered 138 Java exceptions. Bandcracker found 89 vulnerabilities on Android 5.1 and Android 6.0. Fans discovered 168 vulnerabilities on Android 9.0.0 R46. We think that fans is superior over binary cracker as Android security has been improving over the years. Here are some things we could be done in the future. Improve the accuracy of the interface model, integrate coverage into fans, improve the efficiency of fans, extend the current work to other interface-based programs in Android such as native system services implemented by vendor, Java system services. To conclude, we did a systematical investigation of interface dependency. We proposed an approach to automatically extract info interface model. We proposed an approach to info inter-transaction variable dependency. We implemented a prototype of fun to systematically fast and join native system services and have found the 30 native vulnerability and 138 Java exceptions. Besides, we open talk fans. Have fun with it. That's it for my talk. Thanks for listening. Questions are welcome.